Yo, 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 what is up, Halo community? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And if you haven't noticed, there hasn't really been any Halo Infinite events going on, at least not as many as the first season. The only events we've had is a few narrative events and the same repeating entrenched event. But I do have some good news. We actually got an entirely new event that's going to be happening probably in like a week or so. Now, of course, all of this are leaks, so you just gotta take it with a grain of salt. Uh, this could be pushed further back or even earlier. But regardless, let's go ahead and break down what this event is going to bring. So this new event is called the Yappening, and let's go over what everyone is here for, which is the rewards. So the battle pass for this event contains 10 tiers, as you can see here, and let's go over all the rewards here. So let's go over all the rewards. So at number one, we got Slippery When Wet. At number two, we got a Reed Tyrene, seems to be some kind of uh, green AI color. At tier number 3 we got Platinum Marigold, an Assault Rifle Coating. At tier number 4 we got Free Hugs Visor, which is a purple visor. Now this is for all cores as cross visors are now a thing. At number 5 we got the Quillhawk, which is for the Rakashasha score. At tier 6 we got a Banana Weapon Charm. At tier 7 we got the Citron White Armor Coating for the Mark 7. At tier number 8 we got the Platinum Marigold for the Sidekick now. At tier number 9, we got a Captain's Pride stance. At tier number 10, the final tier, we got the Entropy of Spring kill effect. Those are all the rewards that will be available through the Yappening Battle Pass. Now, this event is expected to be released at September 6th, so that's basically two weeks from now. And it's supposed to end at September 20th, so I think this event is going to come around two times. Kind of like the entrenched event where it disappears for a bit and then comes back around. And who knows, maybe new modes will be presented uh, with the second time it comes around. So now that we've covered the rewards, you may be wondering, well, what exactly is going to happen with this event? Like, what's the playlist going to be? And now this is just mostly speculation, but it may be legit. So apparently it's supposed to be a social skirmish playlist, which features a bunch of uh, cheesy modes. The name of the playlist, however, has been recently changed to the Yappening instead of social skirmish. So the modes that are possibly going to be in this playlist is Kong Slayer, Purple Rain, and Turbo Slayer. There may be more, but a lot of people are expecting these modes to drop with the Yappening event. So let's start off with the first mode. The first mode, Kong Slayer. It's literally just is where you spawn with fusion coils and grapple hooks and yeah you basically become Donkey Kong I'm pretty sure it's a reference to Donkey Kong the second mode that may possibly be coming with this event is called purple rain so the way this mode works is you spawn with needlers and you got infinite ammo but there's a slight twist to it uh, there's low gravity and you also spawn with grapple hooks and that's pretty much it you just got to slay each other with the equipment you have there so on to the next mode that may possibly be coming along with this event is called Turbo Slayer. This is basically Slayer on steroids. So the way this mode works is I believe you have faster base movement speed and you reload a lot faster. Reloads on all weapons are a lot faster. Uh, just imagine Call of Duty sleight of hand. It's basically like that. I believe you also spawn with thrusters. So every time you spawn you got thrusters. So that is Turbo Slayer. Now there may be more modes that come along with this event, but so far those are the only three that we know about that could possibly come to, that could possibly come along with the Yappening event. So now let's get into the history of the Yappening for those who want to know what exactly uh, or how this event kind of started. Now this isn't like the full extensive lore about the event. So this Yappening event system kind of thing started back in Halo Wars 2. And so the way the Yappening events work is, well, it's actually based off a grunt called Yap Yap. And basically Yap Yap breaks the servers uh, is the way it works, I guess. Uh, he pretty much just like messes up the game. And it's supposed to be like a comedic kind of thing. And so it appeared first in Halo Wars 2. And yeah, it pretty much just breaks the game, changes everything. In Halo Wars 2, the leaders acted differently. They had like different powers and stuff like that. It pretty much just messes up the game. And I'm pretty sure they got a lot of like positive feedback about the Yappening event in Halo Wars 2. So they ended up bringing it to Halo MCC, which actually changed the background menu screen into like, 
Yap Yap's like throne room or something, which is pretty funny. And so on MCC, you were able to actually get some cool Yap Yap emblems. And of course, you know, the game breaks, they got a whole dedicated playlist to it. So on MCC, the Yapping playlist featured game modes like Yap Yap's Ball Grab. There was also another mode called Methane Mosh Pit, which is where you spawned with needlers and it was super low gravity and you had to fight for like the hill or something. Unfortunately, we never saw this Yapping event happen in Halo 5, but it is good to see it return in Infinite. And it seems like we do got some pretty interesting game types that are arriving with it. And honestly, I'm just glad to have something like this happen. Uh, I do hope they like have like Yappening's return or something in the future and like feature other stuff with it because I, I think it's just clever and it's it is pretty funny and it brings a entirely new experience to uh, Halo for sure. Anyways guys that's the Yappening event and some lore behind it and if you want to stay updated with Halo content like this be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It means the world to me and it really helps me out and I really do appreciate it. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.